like many of you, I have a lot of way. <laughs> like, a lot. <laughs> and my fridge is pretty full. But so are my freezers. So now what do I do? Well, I know for sure I'm keeping some to both drink and to ferment with. So I can safely fit this in my fridge. And I might be able to break this down into two freezer BPA plastic free, whatever, BPA free plastic containers. Ugh, I don't want to do that because this is a ferment, but it would allow me to put them in the freezer, which when they're frozen, well, the plastic's not going to have an effect on them then. And it's probably going to freeze pretty quickly. So if there is any leaching, it's going to be minuscule. And then, of course, as soon as I take something out of the freezer, I put it under, like if it's a plastic with frozen stuff, I'll put it under hot water to loosen the edges, and then I will defrost it in a glass container, whether that's a Pyrex bowl or whatever it is. So I can freeze this because I probably can safely get this in. <sighs> but what will I do with this now? If only I had pigs and things like that that would consume all this. My cat won't drink it. Dom won't drink it. I don't think my neighbors drink it. <sighs> I don't need to make any more ferments. At least not yet. Although this is pure protein. And it's 1230. I'm not hungry, but I am thirsty. So I don't know. Do I make it into a liquid meal? And then have dinner around 5 or 6 o'clock? I could do that. The thing is, I don't want to waste it. I can go feed it on my garden. That's never a waste when it goes to your garden because then when you're growing food and flowers, it comes back as healthy food and flowers. That's calm yeast, by the way. Do you see it on the top? No, this one's got a little bit, but not too much. And that makes sense because this is much older than this. So even with your milk kefir whey, you can get a calm yeast growing on the surface of it. My advice, shake it up and consume it. My stomach is rumbling. That's weird. I'm not hungry, but my stomach is rumbling. Is my stomach rumbling because your stomach's rumbling? Are you hungry? I just fed you. I think I did. I don't remember anymore because Dom and I take turns feeding her. And I think in the back of my mind, well, it's okay if I forget to feed her because he's here, but he's not here today, so. <laughs> I might have genuinely forgot to feed her. Mm. I think I'm just gonna put it all in a one liter container instead. And I'll save that because I could put that in the milk here. That's mostly milk anyway. And now I can add a little more of this to here. Because I actually have a space for this in the freezer. As you can see, this is the dairy fridge. Excuse me? <laughs> this is the dairy fridge, and as you can see, uh, I have it semi-labeled. I know that this is Dom's chocolate milk. This is my milk for... It's half and half, so whether I use it for coffee or tea or I combine it with whipping cream so that, because that's, I prefer more fat, right? Um, or I ferment it to make milk kefir, it doesn't matter. And uh, that's really all the labeling I need to do there. And then of course I've got my backup bags here to do fermenting. I have a space down there, so I decided that and I labeled this, I decided I'm gonna put this down there. Do I need to put something under it first? Like maybe one of Dom's chocolate milks because it's already frozen. It'll provide a base of stability. Because it's not yet frozen, I don't want it leaking in my freezer. See, that's not sitting still, so. I don't know, I'm gonna to have to rethink this. Hmm. 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 What else is possible here? 
deal with that. Oh, by the way, did you, um, did I finish what I did? Did I tell you the end of this or did I leave you hanging? I probably left you hanging. Okay, well, this is all I have because I put the others in plastic containers that are BPA free in the freezer. I know it's not the best thing. I've already explained why. Uh, but it was a good enough solution, at least one I can live with. A little toxin here and there, the body should be able to withstand it. The rest of my diet is clean, so if I'm here this time next year, let's give it two years. Well, let's give it five years, you know, because how long does it take? I don't know for toxins to start activating cancerous cells. I don't know. Does anybody know? If you do, comment section below. Thanks. Now, in all truthfulness, I had to shut off the camera because, well, I had to clean up my freezer. Yeah. This is a freezer. I thought it, well, originally it was all dairy, and then I started adding my fats, like butter, because it's dairy. And then I have jars and jars of fat because animal, vegetable, fruit, avocado is a fruit. So animal, fruit, and vegetable oils. So coconut oil, right? And sunflower oil and seed, some nuts and seed oils. I have a wide variety, even mayonnaise, but I jar my own pork lard, rendered pork fat and beef fat and turkey fat and duck fat and yada, 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 right? And that got in here and then I started throwing in my bags of milk and it was just a nightmare. And I don't do well in a nightmare, do you? I mean, I'm still waiting for this one to end. Wake me up when it's over, okay? In the meantime, in the meantime, that's right, down here. I'm gonna turn the camera around. So in the meantime, I'm gonna pull this out. So I had to reorganize all of my jars so that I could add, because Dom and I buy milk when it's on sale and we freeze it. We freeze half and half, we freeze whipping cream, we freeze chocolate milk, and we freeze it in small enough sizes that even if he takes this out of the fridge or out of the freezer, even if it's expired because it's frozen, it preserves the life of it. And then it'll still last two weeks, upwards to two weeks in the fridge. But he usually has this consumed in a week. So that's why individual portion sizes for him, same with me. This is milk that I would ferment, and usually that's enough. And similarly, I have containers of 35% whipping cream because that's enough for me for a week for coffee. Now, after this defrost, I'll see if I have a video and I'll link it below. I think I do. You have to, after you defrost this, you have to put it in the blender, but don't whip it. You just want to mix the fat and the water, similar to what we just did with the cod liver and the salmon and the cod liver in cod liver oil and salmon. You have to do the same to make it coagulate together. Otherwise, you get separation and that's not what you want in a coffee. So I had to reorganize all that. And down at the bottom, way, way down at the bottom there, I have one liter containers like this. So I have two one liter containers in the bottom full of the fermented whey because I don't use it enough that I would need it at the top. Otherwise, I would put it at the top. So that's how I organize and structure my freezer, especially a deep freezer like this. What do you least use? Put it on the bottom. And when I say least, I'm talking like maybe mm, once or twice a year. Put that on your bottom and then layer it. What's the next thing that you would use maybe four to six months? Put that on top so that the stuff on the very top is your most immediate. This is beveled, meaning it comes away from the top surface. Make sure there's nothing obstructing that either here in your cart or back here so that it has clearance. And when you have clearance, you should get a nice tight seal. By the way, with your deep freezers, you might get a lot of ice build up at the surface, top surface. I typically leave it here unless it's starting to cause a problem, but I do take it out of here because otherwise this gets stuck and then it messes up everything. 
I don't unplug it and defrost it. Next time I do that, it's a real simple technique and it makes your life a whole lot easier. I'll create a video on that, okay? If you like that idea, come on, thumbs up. Give me an incentive here, guys. But that, I think that's a wrap for today. <gasps> Wraps. Hmm. Oh, I think I made a video on that. You can go look for that or I'll link it below. I guess that's it for today. <laughs>